In this video, I'm gonna walk through a tobacco alternative that I made that actually helped me quit smoking and dipping. If you're still smoking, if you're still dipping, if you're still using nicotine patches, things like that, then um, this alternative might be your answer to success. Was I did a little research and they have a company called Grinds. I don't know if you guys know of that. Um, and what they do is they make coffee dip pouches. I've made them my, myself, you know, when I was trying to quit tobacco. So really easy, just it's literally four things that you need. You can make these, you can put them in a little tin, you can put them in a bag, whatever, carry them with you. Every time you get that craving, pop one of these in. And um, you can, if you can get through a month, doing these instead of smoking. That's what I did. I, I went one month on these instead of smoking and instead of dipping, then you'll be tobacco free. Just don't go back. And if you do get that craving, make more of these. The great thing about these is it, it, it is coffee. So it has caffeine, it's a stimulant and you're putting it into your gums. So you do get some sort of stimulant high off of it. Also you add mint, wintergreen, whatever it is, and then you get that flavor. And third, the oral fixation of having something in your mouth. So I'll walk you through that process. Take a tea bag, cut the top off, reserve the tea that's in it, and then split the tea bag in half. Now with this tea that you've reserved, you can still brew it via a French press. You can, um, so you can create loose leaf tea or um, mix it into your soil and your garden to add nitrogen. You can put it into your potpourri mix to scent your house, anything, you know. There's tons of different ideas that, uh, to use this tea, so you're not wasting the tea. But you clip the top of the tea bag off, cut the tea bag in half, and then um, you're gonna mix coffee. You can use ground coffee, but if you freshly grind your coffee, you're gonna get more of that like caffeine punch. Mix this coffee with molasses and I don't have an exact ratio here. You're, you're really going for the consistency that you like and then throw a few drops of mint in there, um, mint essential oil or mint extract, peppermint essential oil, peppermint extract. Wintergreen is a great one too, wintergreen extract. Now, if you're going to use essential oils, make sure that they are food grade because you are putting this into your mouth and you are actually gonna be swallowing some of this. So you don't want any added chemicals, anything like that. I will put links to all the things that I use in this video in the, in the description. So you can check those out yourself. Take a little bit of your mixture, put it into the tea bag and roll it until it's the proper size pouch that you want. You can reserve it in a tin, you can reserve it in a bag. Actually, if you snooze or you dip, anything like that, clean out one of those tins and put those pouches right in there. That's even better. You're literally grabbing from that same source. So mentally it's, you know, helping you along thinking that you're still actually doing tobacco when you're not. Yeah, whenever you get that craving, just dip one of these in your lip and uh, ride it out. I think this, this uh, tip will help a lot of people. So um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you want more content similar to this, um, content about alternatives, vegan recipes, all that jive, then subscribe. Um, if you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram, uh, it should be up in the banner. And if you like this video, I will also have suggested videos, um, little cards popping up on the screen somewhere. I don't know. But um, yeah, thank you guys.